Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to focus again on the structure of the earth. Um, so this is the second part of, uh, of this lesson, uh, the structure of the earth. So the first thing we're going to look at is the different types of crust that you can have. Okay, And there's two types of crust. Okay, so the first crust that you can have is oceanic crust. Oceanic crust. And the second is continental crust. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is the oceanic crust. And as you can see, the oceanic crust uh, is this one here. And the continental crust is the brown one here, okay? So the oceanic crust, as you can see from both, is much thinner. And the oceanic cr crust, the average thickness is about 8 kilometers thick. And it ranges from about 3 kilometers to 11 kilometers thick in some places. It's solid. And it's, more, it's, it's uh, much more dense than the continental cr crust. So it's, it's much heavier. And the reason why it's heavier is because it's made up, um, it's formed mainly of a uh, basalt rock, and it's much heavy. And basalt rock is much heavier than um, the other rocks that make up the continental crust, such as granite. And one thing to note is that the material in the in the oceanic crust is sometimes referred to as sema, because it's made out of two basic substances, which is silica and magnesium. The next one is the continental crust. I just realized I forgot the L here. Okay, um, so it's the continental crust. And as you can see, the continental crust is much thicker than the oceanic crust. Um, the continental crust um, varies in thickness. It goes from about 45 kilometers to 70 kilometers thick in some parts. It's composed of much uh, younger and lighter rocks, such as granite. And therefore, when the two plates collide, the oceanic crust always subducts beneath the continental crust because, uh, as we said before, the oceanic crust is heavier because made up of rocks, heavier rocks such as basalt. And the continental crust um, uh, won't subduct when um, beneath the, the, the oceanic crust, even though it is much thicker. One, one thing to note about the continental crust is that its material is referred to as shale. And this is because it's made out of two basic substances, which is silica and aluminium. Right, so I've just made out a little short notes there for the oceanic crust. I'll do the same for the continental crust now. So there you have it, the short notes there for the continental crust. So I hope that uh, clears up the, the difference between the oceanic and the continental crust. And you now be able to be able to explain uh, some of the differences uh, between the two of them. So that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was nice and short. And if you'd like to um, watch more of our video tutorials, please go on to our website, which you can see at the bottom, www.examrevision.ie. Thanks, guys.